Hey there, welcome back to Borsche D. Today we're making this amazing prop wall. So I've made a few props throughout the past years, uh, especially since I got my first 3D printer. I've done, especially on video, the Ayo Magamoto back there. And I've also done one of my first ever 3D models and 3D prop models was Malcolm Reynolds gun from Firefly, which was for a Punish Props um, event for New Year's some three or four years ago, something like that. These props have never had a proper place of display in my room. They've always just lain around in bookcases or on my desk next to the Lego, just gathering dust. And I really wanted a special place to sort of display them and admire them as I enter and exit the room really and truly. It's just for myself for the most part and for any visitors uh, who might want to see my collection. But I decided that these props would finally have a good place to be honored as they might not be the best props in the world, and certainly they are not. In fact, there are several flaws which I could find in all of these props. But these are very special to me, because these are things that I made, especially the first ones. Uh, such as, again, Malcolm Reynolds' Firefly Gun, Tracer's Gun, which was one of the very first 3D prints which I have made. Um, then there was also the first nerf modification that I made, and there are a lot of different things. The first lightsaber I made was uh, Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. Um, these, most of these models you can find on Thingiverse, such as Mjolnir and the lightsaber. But yeah, these are special to me and I wanted to display them. And really and truly, I think uh, this was the best way to do it. The wall above my bed seem to be the ideal place to hang this prop wall. It's not wide enough to have a whole sheet of MDF there, so I had to take some measurements to cut the sheet down to size. I used the circular saw because my table saw wasn't big enough to cut the whole sheet of plywood. The circular saw tends to make very straight cuts if you go slow, but you could always go back with a router as I did later on to make sure that the edge is clean. Sending or routing MDF generates a lot of very fine dust, so make sure to wear a face mask or find some way to protect your lungs against this very fine dust. Essentially, you could use the cut MDF as the whole surface, but I thought that the chamfering bit might give it a very nice trim all around. I cut two long strips on my table saw. These would eventually be used for the French cleats. I cut them shorter than the length of the prop wall using the chop saw. Once that was done, I took them back to the table saw, changed the angle of the blade to a 45 degree and cut an angle through the whole piece. This creates two mating pieces which can be used for the French cleat. MDF is a material that really soaks up the paint, so I used a water-based one in order to give it many coats 
which would dry fairly quickly. I think in total I managed to give it about 5 or 6 coats and I think I went back afterwards to touch up some places which are a bit spotty. I didn't have any remaining face masks in my workshop so I took the piece outside and sanded it with an orbital sander. I made sure to be in a very well ventilated area so as not to inhale dust. It's very important to sand the MDF piece as paint or spray paint usually tends to give it a bit of a texture. Once I sanded it down with uh, 180, 220 and 320 grit sandpaper I gave it one final coat and one final sanding with a 400 grit sandpaper. This made sure to make it very smooth to the touch. I used my drill press and the Forstner bit to carve out a small circular piece and the French cleat. This is where a washer and an anchor would sit flush against the board. Once that was done I carved through completely using a drill bit with a bread point so that the wall anchor could pass through unhindered. At this point it was time to start clearing out the wall. I had an old hanger for my Mjolnir prop, so I had to remove that. I also started attaching the French cleats which went against the wall. I glued the mating French cleats on the board, making sure to get them at the right distance as I attached them on the wall. I used countersunk wood screws so that they would sit flush and not rub up against the wall. At this point I was ready to start modeling my hangers. Every prop has custom hangers but I started with the bow first. I designed this quickly using Fusion 360. Once I was satisfied with it I 3D printed all the hangers. With my brother's help I managed to get the prop wall up on the wall and then I started attaching all the hangers and the various props and items that I wanted to hang.
making the prop wall was a very easy endeavor. In fact, I think the worst part was just dealing with the MDF. I learned that I hate MDF. It's a cool and versatile material, but if you don't have the dust collection system for it, it's just a nightmare. There were several ways I could hang it, the prop wall on my wall, and I decided to go for French cleats for the very simple reason that uh, usually I have to get this up and down alone if I ever have to. Luckily my brother was here to help me at the time. But I decided that having French cleats would be easier to adjust sideways and get it centered properly. Having driven anchors into the wall otherwise it would have been uh, taken a lot of precision and since I have a bookcase over there and the wall just right over here I thought it would be best to have a bit of a flexible system. It does have a bit of a gap between the wall, but I think that works out nice. It gives it a bit of a shadow all around it. There's always room for improvement in the future if I want to add an LED strip all around it, which is really feasible. But in essence, as you saw, it's just a sheet of MDF cut down to size with French cleat and a bit of a routed edge. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, you can find links to my social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter down in the description below. And as always, you can also follow most of my projects on my website, borschgd.net. And just as I have been inspired by other makers out there to come in my shop, room, to make something, hope that you too can make something as well, because everyone is a maker. Mm.